The only thing that's really going to be expensive is at the end of the day, uh, the lease stuff coming out because it's for this thing, it's the initial cost of 30 or whatever. And then at the, at every hour, so every machine hour, which is under the speedometer there, every machine hour gets charged uh, 22 grand. So that makes things kind of eh. Look at this though. He makes perfect lines and everything and it's all glorious. And then if you take a look at the thing, it should show everything is all beautifully fertilized and good to go. And there's no overlap. It just works. It's good. I love it. So one of the things that I'm going to want to do, because now I've got all these conveyors on there, I can put the conveyors in their own section. So I'll never, I can actually switch to them for one which you can't do in base uh, base game and then I can also set all of these to different groups so if I say group one is uh, what is it I have to do up oh. so group one is this thing my cedar now we go to the next vehicle you are gonna be group two because you are my hay machine. And then you are harvester, you're group three, etc., etc. Group four. And then if we go to all of these auto loaders, I have to manually enter them to begin with. And I can't switch to them by default. So. The nice way around that is if I go in one and then I go, oh, hey, you know what? Let's add you group zero. And then go to the next one. Group zero. Oh, I went in the wrong one. This one. There we go. And you as well. Perfect. So now, at any point in time, I can say, oh, you know what? I want to shift uh, one of these. I can just sit there and do it like that instead of the other way around. So I want to go, I want to go to group one. I want to go to group two. I want to go to group three. I want to go to group four, group two, group zero, group two, group zero, group two, group zero. It's beautiful. It works! It's so good. I love it. So, now though, I need to position all of these jerky jerks at their respective fields so that way I can go and do massive collection runs like I want to. Because that's the end goal is to just have a big road train and say, yep, I want to pick up all the things. And then you go pick up all the things and you're good to go, right? And then you go dump them off in your silo. And then when a big sale comes up, you sell them all in bulk. And I say big sale. What I mean is if I'm looking at the screen and I see something that's ridiculously abnormally high or because it's not going to give me alerts, I don't think, anymore. Because of the way I've got it set up with the mods. I don't think it's going to alert me. Because I think there is a, um, a more accurate system for the, um, for the, uh, tallying of how things work. I think. I think that exists. Could be wrong on that front. But I think there's a mod that changes the way that the uh, the prices are, so that way it's not just the same great demand because it's adding more crops and stuff, so it's changing it. I don't know. Maybe I'm crazy and I'm just spouting all this nonsense, but whatever. I think that's the way it is, though. Maybe. In any event, though, We should be pretty good on every front. And we'll 
bring you down to... Uh, I don't know. I think we'll put you the sunflower field. But yeah, th th that's the general idea anyways, is if I have all these fields set up in such a way, then it's real quick and easy to get stuff done. Just works. And I can just drive by with a trailer, pick everything up. And then when I feel I've got enough, like 100,000 or whatever, like the silos maxed out. Um, at that point, I'll probably buy a bigger silo. But the idea is if I don't want to sell anything unless I can fill up all of my trailers, which is, uh, what is it, 42 and 56? So equivocally, 100,000. I don't want to sell anything until I get 100,000. And then when I start buying more trailers, then I can go over 100,000, or if I'm selling beets or whatever, right? That, that's the goal, that's the dream. Now you... They want me to harvest the field that way, so, hmm. I want to position these in such a way so that way when I start harvesting the fields, like when I do the cultivating task and whatever, it's not gonna get bound up or anything. That's that's the goal, anyways. That is the goal. Yeah, though. So nice. Have everything all set up and good to go. It'll be lovely. Eventually. But it'll be lovely. I hope. Probably. Probably. Probably, probably. And save. Good for you. Then we have to set this one here because of the way that the harvester was being dumb. Alright, uh... And now you are ready to go. No, not what I wanted. I want X, G, X. That way we can move on to the next field. Now we're going to do this one as barley. And I love this just for the fact that because this is on the front, you can use it to measure. So you're like, oh yeah, it's 15 wide. So whatever this sprayer says is the correct width. And then you line it up close enough. And you hire a worker and he's like, yep, I got it. Done. Pro no problem. Done. Just done. Then he'll sit here and he'll load everything up and get it all good and we're lovely. And because it's fertilizer, you get the immediate result of, yep, that's exactly where it's going to hit. It's perfect. And you're just, you're, you're good. You're done. So easy. Love it. And then you're making your way back and you're going to turn around at some point because you're going to hit that bit. Which is fine. I can live with that. Or maybe you're not because there's that little corner there. I don't know. The AI is fine. You, there's mods that can make it a little bit better and you manually define everything, but... I'm fine with the default AI. It, it works. It's good. Helper F has not completed their task. Liar. Need to do the next line, sir. Ooh. This is going to be scared to do with that train if he gets hit by it by accident. Maybe I'll have to manually reset him because that is terrifying. It's going to see a harvester flipping through the air at some point. Yeesh. Yeesh, yeesh, yeesh. There we go. Lovely, lovely. And now to move on to the final set of fields that I need to worry about. That way I can get everything harvested there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
And I do appreciate that there's no traffic ever going down my road. So I know that I can set stuff up as such and it won't be an issue. I do appreciate that. Haha, <laughs> you're getting passed by a conveyor! Haha! <laughs> oh, oh. oh, I suppose everybody's speeding because the speed limit's 25. Well then. Alright. Fair enough. Oh, a little bit of chug. If I look in this specific direction, anyways. You guys upset at me. So it's his headlights is what's doing it. Good to know. Good to know. All right, getting about ready for, I should probably turn here, actually. There you go. And we'll get you all nice and set up. And we'll make, I guess, here the dump point like that because I can pull the conveyor or the uh, the combine up on either side of it and dump and then pull the trailer in straight through here uh, this center section is going to be plowed to make it into one field and then I can go left with the trailers if I need to I guess yeah that's probably going to be how it needs to be done you do not like this angled field, and I, I completely understand. So that might get cut off. I don't know. I don't like it either. If I'm honest. Alright, then we get all this all, 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 all fully done. And we can go dump you and move on to the next thing. Oh no, 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 I'm destroying crops. Oh no. Oh. There we go. And then, yeah, I'm going to make this all into one big field. Because I can. I love the idea of that. <laughs> 20 miles an hour isn't fast, but, I mean, for a combine, it's, it's pretty good. Pretty mint. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to... Oh, the lag from saving is real. I'm going to drop this off. That's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to just drop it. Just straight up drop it. And then... Unload that. Oh, you are blocked. Oh, bugger. I'm going to waste a little bit of money having the workers sitting there while I'm driving back. But it's okay. I can live with that. I can live with them losing that amount of money. It's only like a couple hundred anyways. Okay, yeah, I know. It's starting to hurt. Uh, I can't. I can't deal with it. I can't deal with it. Goodbye. Oh. That was just... Just such a bleeding wound. Just hemorrhaging money for him to sit there. Oh. Oh. Lordy. So my general strategy, general strategy, is to have at any point in time a hundred grand before a harvest so that way it makes sure that I can do whatever I need to to do the harvest normally it would be 50 grand but for this particular one um, because I know that I have to spend like 30 40 grand or whatever to get the beat equipment I'm going to say a hundred grand and then I'll be until I pay off the loan we'll just say a hundred grand fair enough because once I, I pay off the loan, then I've still got lease costs to deal with. But in theory, as soon as I buy the uh, the harvester, then I won't be losing so much money every day. 
Also, I realize now I should have just reset the tool and he would have been fine. But... Eh. 